Ooh, can you see that? Yes. Happy Friday or Saturday. I'm not quite sure when you guys will be getting this video. It's gonna be a bit late, alright? Even though it is the first month of 2021 and nothing's happened, weird things happen, and I will just be talking about five of them. I wanted to do ten, but um certain things had like a timeline in a sense it wouldn't make no sense when we talk about it does that make sense to you because it makes sense to me all right anyways so we're just gonna talk about five things jump right into the niceness as per usual i'm a turn up still waiting on the red stripe sponsorship it's not surreal tonight it is lemon but either one is fine with me to be honest So, I actually heard it start well festive. I actually posted a video in a January, you know, 2021. And he says that he received an email from this girl where he used to deal with. And you know what the email said? She won $3 million or she is going to release a video of him eating her chocha. Check him, check him email and say this, you know. So my you come on quick now, jump ahead of the story and say, listen, me I put out this quick and fast because here what? Yeah, my do it, my eat the meat, but nobody not going to black me and me. Me not paying a three million dollar. So me I make sure so me do that video before them put it out, cause them say them will put it out. And me have piece of the video too. When me I go put out. I know for now I born me, I say, yo, oh, you say I rest there, I got trip. No, I had dread long time. Footer. <laughs> uh, wait. All of the website, them, but, yo, I know I'm beat me bad, because I always speak certain things. But if you understand, some more time a man talk certain things, he not necessarily do it, you know? So everybody and their mother, sit down and I wait for this video. Cause him say him I gonna release it, you know. So everybody wanna see it. Everybody wanna see this three million dollar video, you know. Cause <laughs> hello. Anyways, a few days later now, I actually release this video. Approve me, approve too, no say on the only love. Adapt me assure you know. So me do a video like that and left for the assumingness. I mean, create that word. People love assume. I should put this in the dictionary. Assume this. People love assume. I just left the blank space. I mean, no, I know so that I'm going to say. Next video drop. Four o'clock. Today. Jamaica time for my IG. I'm going to overlook it. I'm going to overlook it. Some website. You may see a car my name. My fans all about. Them overlook my career the whole of last year. I actually put out the first video for catch people. Because him say. He might get reposts from here, there, everywhere. Everybody at talk about him and all of them something here. But last year, 2020, not a body never did that there for a musical career. So essentially, it was just a hoax that he used to prove to people or maybe to prove to himself that they will take this negativity and they will run with it but he will want shares and reposts and he will want his names in the blogs and in the blogs in the blogs for positivity and his name will never arise and they will never write about him because his career was just there lie down flat who airbow acting last year i never did airbow acting last year but i've spoken about this a thousand times and I think I will speak about it a thousand times more. I actually never did tell no lie. People just love the negativity. You will start a charity and will ask people for donate and them something there and they will never look for you. As soon as they start a mix up page and I talk about negativity and all of them something there, people just run panic time, people just sit on panic time. The negativity just a manifest and a multiply. But once you have true followers and once you have true supporters, they will always be there. Next story. Bolt versus Popcorn. Now, 
You see and bold, right? I'm near me hard, I'm bored, I'm not really I do nothing. I'm retired from the running, a COVID time, I'm can't really party here, there, and everywhere. I'm have this one bag of money I sit on pan, my youth is bored. Okay? You understand? But I don't know if I didn't have all of that money, would I be bored though? I'm probably be like buy out a resort just because. You understand? But I am not you saying boat and you say boat is not me. Anyways. You see them both say he might have just jump in at the music thing. I believe in 2019 he came out with the Olympia rhythm and that's Manala in the chat. Everybody jump on, them they give them own a thing and them own a flavor and whatever. And of course he has friends around him that support him in this music venture. And I'm sure he has friends that he wanna get a strength. So he has a friend around him when him NJ. Them not gonna put out to our music video now. You see him both featuring NJ. You see him both not sing for this, you know. But his name is attached to it. So obviously everybody wanna know what go on for the song here, what go on for the video here. Everybody run on, shut on. Them, them wanna see. So everybody run to see. Some people were giving their opinions and I say, yeah, man, it nice and everything. Some people. Them never heard that feel it. And one of these persons who never heard that feel it just happened to be Popcorn. So Popcorn jumped on social media and he had this to say to Usain Bolt. With all due respect, legend, I feel like you have to help some youth with real musical talent. Them they are not. NJ I'm a fam, but please just give some hungry youth who actually have talent that platform there. Happy New Year. Some people never really feel what popcorn did have to say. Some people that feel what popcorn did have to say. I mean a lie. Popcorn never tell no lie. But I'm not that type of dancer or person. So I'm kind of have one question. Who popcorn help out? Can I understand the message, you know? But is it from the right messenger? Again, don't come slaughter me because I don't really no um anything about the dance or whatever so i don't really know if popcorn has helped anybody if he has only can just comment that down below don't cuss me off don't chastise me just comment it and educate me and that's because i honestly really and truly don't know i can see this from two sides of the coins right both are giving friends strength because me not gonna lie me they not a youtube thing if me did have a friend that was a bigger youtuber me i go and jump on them channel and me i go and get a strength from them y'all know anything where you stay about name a touch pan it's gonna sell people not even sell just people are curious you say about is you say about you say what's a celebrity not even a jamaican celebrity he's international there are other persons out there that are really talented and you say about has the resources to help these other people again once his name is attached on it he can create something great he can be like a ramish you understand him can put him name out there put a musical house together get some young talented persons uh male female and really invest in these people and invest in them career so they can actually be something great and this will be because of you. So not only give your friends strength, but give other persons strength if you're that invested in the music industry. All right? Okay, next story. Crystal and Billman split up. Now tell me, was anybody surprised? Because me, me never surprised about this, all right? Crystal is a girl who always up in a Billman face like glue, me I tell you, like bump she each up in a man face like say she a mustache she a one him locks them just living her face you understand she don't even pay rent because she owns the house well she not want the house because she have to move out now but anyways so some people are pretty said crystal not really all up in a friendly friend friend like that when they first started dating be the man did buy her one car um, she claims that it's not being mandated by her car, but sources, my sources, they make me know the 411. But that is not even the important part. They moved in together and she was playing the stepmother role. 
to his kids she was taking them to school she was really posting them she was all up in them life you understand and being a man life and persons saw certain changes and said oh you know crystal is a very nice influence on being a man and there she's making his life better and she's doing all of these wonderful things remember we are from the outside looking in we really don't know what their life was like but based on social media posts the persons were saying this anyways they're living together, they're building a life together and everything. They had a child back in 2018. This is shocked a whole lot of people, including me, but we'll soon get into that in a little while. But yeah, last year, you never really did see Crystal all up and then it been a man arm as she usually was. So, all of a sudden, Crystal made this long ass poem epistle song pan fear timeline and this is what crystal had to say five years and folding part of growth is knowing when things have come to an end knowing not to force it knowing to let it be leaving when there is love and not waiting until it is dry empty and full of animosity knowing to choose peace and trusting that all things work together for our good. I remained silent for a while on this question, not to keep a secret, but to get clear, certain, and centered. I am clear, I am certain, I am centered. This chapter on love, written with love, is closed. Anyways, people were spreading rumors about the breakup saying that one, Crystal cheated on Bean Man. Two, so, them said Crystal did use Bean Man. And three, they said that maybe it was a case that Crystal wanted marriage and Bean Man really wasn't ready for that. So they made the decision to part ways. We are from the outside looking in, and to be honest, I believe number three because she just seemed like that type of woman to aspire for marriage and stuff like that. Yeah, Crystal Thomas and Moses Davis. This, yeah, okay, we are apart, we are not together anymore. It's not because of any bad vibes or any disrespect, it's just people just grew apart, and yeah. Life change, that's it. And yeah. So me, three single disengaged. She, three single ready to end it. So blessing. A lot of people did not approve of the relationship between Crystal and Bidman. And me not gonna lie, I am one of those persons that did not approve. When I found out that Crystal was dating Bidman, me I said Bidman, Bidman, Bidman with ten pick me. Bidman, that Bidman. That been that mean man, you know. But then again, we don't help who we love. Who knows what made her fall in love with him or whatever? I don't know. She knows. Him know. Them close friends probably know. Nobody else don't know. And to be honest, nobody else don't really need to know. That chapter is closed. Um, I don't know what you guys think about it. Let me know. I love to hear those thoughts. And we are moving on to the next story. My uh, beer almost finished. You know, me are going good today. Spice, 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 Shensia, Cheda. It's like, them, and them three women here alone in a dance hall practically, you know, and them three women here just can't keep them name out of the vlogs. The vlogs. Why don't you keep on saying vlogs? Girl. Anyways, so you know, I so said the public always a pin them females here against each other. I mean, I haven't really seen any comparison as it relates to Jada and Spice. It's more Shensia and Spice. I remember telling you this, and some people are gonna disagree with me. I love Shensia. I love, 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 love my chin chin. Okay, but. Spice is the queen of dancehall. If anyone should get the throne, it's going to be Spice. Nobody is as entertaining as Spice is. And Spice, Spice, Spice work. 
Spice, she, she work and she deserved the crown. Jada made an appreciation post for Spice. So the post goes as follows. Thank you, West Palm Beach, Florida. Love you know. And a million thanks to my mentor at Spice Official. I love you, Queen. Enough artists now want big up who came before them and give credit to who them learn from. Manav that's in a me. So Spice then reposted this and she said, Thanks, Jada Kingdom. Your appreciation means a lot to me. In all my years in this industry, I've never been tagged by a female artist to say they watched and learned anything from me. You told me, even on Clubhouse, that you used to sit and watch my performances and look at you now, mashing up everywhere you go. Big up yourself, Mama Evie. Your heart speaks volume. I'm a big fan. I'm so proud of you and your growth is impeccable. Fire emoji. So, after she said that, a lot of persons wanted to see what Shensia had to say. So, she never really had shown a word or nothing upon her page. But you know people fast and them love dig up everything. So when them go upon her following list, them say my girl and for spice. And them say no man I work on right here. So, wasn't Jada and Chelsea cool the other day? What's happening? Like, why Jada took up herself and make a post about Spice and then Spice reposted saying that? So, persons took it as a personal um, attack on Chelsea and then them go and them dig up some posts from way back when where Chelsea was actually saying, you know, thank you to Spice and whatever. So, them go back. Past Spice page and she says Spice and for the Shensi I said I'm like I want to go on right here so I you know to add fuel to fire I think around this time Ramesh signed two of Spice's former dancers no turn artists to him label so they must say no man I want team up thing I go on right here so like what's happening you understand and then Spice kind of cleared the air a little bit on one of her stories. And here's what Spice had to say. I've never been tagged by a female to say they watched and learned anything from me. You told me on Clubhouse that you used to watch my performances and look at you now. End of quote. How is this a lie or a shade? Y'all twist words to reflect what you want. I'm way too successful to be arguing over dumb shit. I can see how Spice could have meant it in an innocent way. You can interpret you're my idol as that. But when somebody straight out says, listen, I sit down and watch everything when I learn from you, that is different to actually hear it like that. But at the end of the day, them ladies here kind of just need to come together, stop the little susus and the cascas and whatever, and just make a fire ass song about popping pussy, about shaking up big body, about kicking up pum pum, about pretty girl and all of them nicest they're taking man money, and let me shake my ass to it. That is all I want. All right. Next story. So. <laughs> This one, it never did have a drop in, but me didn't want to drop it in because I want to hear you guys' opinions, alright? So, there was this lady from Sierra Leone. Um, she was studying medicine in Cuba. On her final year, she met a wonderful Jamaican man and decided to, she, I got to take up herself, move to Jamaica, fuck school, fuck education, <laughs> On her last year, so she didn't have one year left for finished medicine. Took up herself, moved to Jamaica. This was when she was 27. They got married in 1999. Five years later, that ended in divorce. And ever since, my girl was penniless. My girl was homeless. She was moving place to place. In 2017, she came to Kingston. She has been living in a church in Waterloo ever since and she's been working as a caretaker and this woman is now 52 52 years old she's not from Jamaica she don't have no family in Jamaica she come over Jamaica 
for a man so this story was published in the star there was a lot of mixed comments on it a lot of persons felt um sad for this woman they felt sympathetic and a lot of persons have said no man that girl here is a yam head but the thing is this man could wait one year for she finished school I was so she said that this wasn't even a regret to call it a regret is like an understatement this changed her whole existence and to call something like that a decision that you made in your youth like changing your whole existence yo that rough she was contacted by the consulate of the west african nation and eta which is her name i hope i am saying it right i may not be y'all can go and see the star article yourself and try to pronounce it yourself but yes they interviewed her and they decided that that was the best option for her to go back home that's what she wanted so they'll set her up and they'll help her and she will be on her way on monday but listen if you never take nothing from this story take this do not put your life on pause for a man because then we leave you high and dry all right <laughs> So the last one on the list is the plane crash where they go on in a rocky point. I'm having a thought about this, you know. Do you guys have a lot of thoughts? We're going to talk about it, all right? So on Saturday the 23rd, right, in other night, some guys were playing football. And them said them to the plane circle and them not think about it, you know. It's just a plane passing by. And then all of a sudden they heard a loud crash. So, them run go look what go on now and them see a little ship, not ship, Lord Jesus, a little plane crash in a, the water. So, them take up themselves now and go, and go fast and I ramp up and down in a plane because they want to see if they can help anybody that have been injured. When them go over there, not a body, not a luggage, not a nothing. Just the digger digger plane right there, so in the water. Isn't that strange? Anyways, the persons they are rummaging through this plane and then authorities were called. And when the authorities came, you know, they're viewing what's happening and everything. They cannot find the persons that are supposed to be on the plane which um it's a little plane so you're not going to expect anyone else to be in there they didn't see any cargo or anything the seats were removed um and the plane had a, a mexico stamp on it so they're collecting evidence and to be honest this evidence don't even accurate or relevant anymore because the persons from rocket point they already rummaged through the plane they had videos of them inside the plane and stuff like that so two things me I think about are three me no know me can't count me no good at maths the first thing me I think about is this why the hell are y'all going to be rummaging in this goddamn plane with an enough self when you don't know what kind of disease they're in this goddamn vessel y'all don't know what was in this vessel what was being transported but yet it would take up on herself and go and go ramp up and down in there this don't make no sense that's a one and two why were the authorities not on top of things like even when the news truck um news truck yeah the news reporters went over there persons were still in the water like looking through the plane and stuff like that yeah they're curious but authorities come on and they need to dip on top of things because this is something serious you understand and three we all know that drugs were being transported in that it's a crack cocaine it's a cocaine come on the authorities actually don't know if it was an emergency landing or if it crashed but Seem like an emergency landing to me and them just take up themselves and go and leave the plane hopefully there's like some form of serial number that can be traced back to the owner or something like that but i do not have faith in our authorities i do apologize but i really don't so this might be a new story today 
and by the end of February, nobody do remember anything about this plane crash. Anyways, guys, that's all my phone. Just keep liking, sharing, commenting, all of them niceness there. Thank you so much for being here. And remember to be a beautiful soul, not only a gorgeous face. And until next week, bye. Why is no one yet to be found? Because I'm taking out the cookie a long time, the drugs long time. And them deliver the drugs where the drugs were delivered. And them, and them merry we are